So if there's anything that I've made clear throughout my tenure as the host of The Humanist Report, it's that I don't like when public officials try to shirk transparency and get around FOIA requests and hide emails from the public. And this is where I agree with Republicans, even though they're wrong on everything, they were correct to call out Hillary Clinton. And in fact, current VP elect Mike Pence also called out Hillary Clinton, and he unequivocally condemned her use of a private email server and her lack of transparency. Here's what he said. The new emails that have been made public just in the last week uh, seem to make a, a direct connection uh, between favors done by State Department officials and major foreign donors to the Clinton Foundation. But uh, the American people have a right to know. Now, additionally, he told Chris Matthews on MSNBC, quote, I truly do believe, as Abe Lincoln said, give the people the facts and the republic will be saved. Give the people the facts and the republic will be saved. Now, it turns out that Mike Pence doesn't actually believe this because he has an email issue himself. So according to Law News, Indiana Governor and Vice President-elect Mike Pence is in the middle of a legal battle to keep the contents of an email sent to him exempt from being disclosed as public record. This comes as Pence spent months on the campaign trail railing against Hillary Clinton for failing to disclose all of her emails. The email was in connection to an immigration lawsuit brought by the state of Texas against the U.S. government. Pence joined in the suit and hired a local law firm. As a result, Indianapolis lawyer William Groth has been bringing a legal battle of his own to get information behind Pence's decision to hire outside attorneys for the case, Indy Star reported. I think joining the lawsuit without the attorney general and hiring that firm was a waste of taxpayer dollars and the people have the right to know how much of their money was spent, Groth said to Indy Star, despite state attorney general Greg Zola reportedly giving Pence the okay to join the case. Zoller's office did not respond to the newspaper's request for comment. While Pence's administration has produced 57 pages of documents in response to Groth's request, Groth argued in a court filing that they were heavily redacted. Additionally, a key email that Pence received from Texas Governor Greg Abbott's chief of staff, Daniel Hodge, was turned over but without an attached document. Pence's administration made the redacting decisions and argued that the email attached was attorney worked product, which is privileged and exempt from being turned over according to Indiana's Access to Public Records Act. The matter went to trial, and after roughly a year-long court battle, a judge ruled in Pence's favor. The court decided that they did not have the authority to make the decisions regarding the administration's redactions to public records. Now, Groth is appealing the case. I think government transparency is an important concern of anyone who lives in a democracy democracy, the governor cannot put himself above the law, he said. So let me just break it down. Mike Pence is a gigantic hypocrite. He constantly railed against Hillary Clinton. Why did you delete those emails? Aren't you going to show us what's in the emails? Don't the American people have a right to know? And yet he is trying to avoid transparency himself. So it's okay for me to do that and to get around FOIA requests and to not show the public the contents of specific emails, but when Hillary Clinton does it, that's unacceptable. So, I mean, you have this double standard that Republicans create for themselves, and at the same time, they criticize Democrats for doing it. Now, I have no love for the Democratic Party. I'm not a supporter of Hillary Clinton. I think we all know that. And let's be objective here. Hillary Clinton did, in fact, delete 33,000 emails, whereas this is just one email and a heavily redacted document. So this isn't necessarily the same thing if we're being 100% objective and fair to Mike Pence, but... The problem is that if you're going to claim that you care about government transparency, and in his own words, I'll read it back to you, I truly do believe, as Abe Lincoln said, give the people the facts and the republic will be saved. If you believe that, then put your money where your mouth is and release the attachment of that email and actually give us a document that's not heavily redacted. Now again... I have no defense for Hillary Clinton. I think her use of a private email server and deletion of 33,000 emails was unacceptable, it was unethical, and she did it specifically to hide her corruption. But Mike Pence, if you're gonna say that you care about transparency, then actually be transparent. Don't criticize people for what you're doing. That makes you a gigantic 
hypocrite. But we already know that Donald Trump and Mike Pence, they are hypocrites. And I just want you to be consistent. I want people to be consistent. If you're going to make a claim that you care about transparency, then be transparent yourself. Don't be a hypocrite. But we can expect Mike Pence to do exactly what Hillary Clinton did. He's going to get in office and try to hide many emails and hide a lot from the public. So that way we don't find out about his corruption and Donald Trump's corruption and perhaps his gay hookups. Who knows? But I just think that it is hilarious that you have been criticizing Hillary Clinton for months about this. And then you're doing basically the same thing laughable and will republicans actually be objective and call him out well of course they won't call him out because even if republicans happen to be right about an issue when their side does it then it's okay or they're silent on it well how about this how about we all stop being partisan hacks democrats and republicans alike and we just hold all republicans regardless of their party affiliation to the same standard that's all i want the american people have a right to know